has done from January up until December. Lift your voice and thank him. Lift his name, thank him. We made it, we made it. We are amongst those who made it. We thank God for those who have lost their lives. We thank, them, thank God for the lives that they've lived. But we thank God for the life that we are going to carry on living. Lift your voice and thank him. If it hadn't been for God on our side, if it hadn't been for God on our side, lift your voice and thank him. It is to you we give all the glory. It is to you we give all the honor. We will forever bless your name. Hallelujah. It is to you I give the glory. It is to you I give the praise. For you have done so much for me. I will magnify your name. It is to you, Holy Father. No one else but you. And I will bless your name. I will bless your name. And I will bless your name forevermore. If that's your prayer and that's your song today, I'd like you to join us as we bless the name of the Lord. It is to you I give the glory. It is to you I give the praise. For you have done so much for me. I will magnify your name. It is to you, it is to you, Holy Father. No one else but you. And I will bless your name. Service of the year 2023. Woo! Woo! Put your hands together for the Lord. Are you excited? Are you glad? Are you grateful? Yes. Praise the Lord. So this is going to be a wonderful service in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome all of you, whether watching from home or in the building, to this wonderful service. We give God glory for what He's done in our lives for the past 365 days. Amen. And uh, we thank God for what he's done in the past 12 months. And we're excited about what he's going to do today. So this morning, I want to be excited. I want to open up your hearts, open up your minds. I want to remember what God has done in your life. So forget about whatever is not working right now. Forget about whatever you are worried about right now. Forget about those views that are waiting for you. Know that your God can take care of it. Amen? And be excited. Look forward to what God's going to do today. During today's service, during the crossover service in the evening, let your heart be expectant. Look forward to the word of God that's coming to you from this altar in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. Thank you for what you have done in life so far. Lord, thank you in advance for what you're going to do tonight and what you're going to do this morning. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit today's service. Lord, take absolute control. Let the heavens be open in the name of Jesus. This morning, let there be healing. This morning, let there be deliverance. Let there be salvation of souls. Send a word to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Every man, every woman, every child that will enter this building today, Father, let us have an encounter with you. Send us our own word in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's put our hands together for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. The Lord of Lords. Amen. The Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Lord. Glory be to God. Shout the mighty hallelujah. Hallelujah. So welcome back to the choir. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. He is good and his mercy is forever. If you know that, raise your hands once again. And tell him you are good, oh God. Your mercy endures forever. It never changed. It hasn't failed us. Your mercy has kept us day in and day out. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. I want you to say, you are good, you are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good, you are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 You February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, you are good. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 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 You are and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. I am so grateful to God for life because this year I did have a health scare. I had a baby and I had a health scare and I really didn't think I would make it but the Lord has kept me Hallelujah. and I give him praise. I'm sure you have a testimony of your own so I want us to sing. I want us to sing like a thankful person. I want us to think, sing with a thankful heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome your neighbor once again. Congratulate them. Woo! Thank me 
to God who always causes us to triumph. Hallelujah! Clap your hands with us. Come on. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in his name. Thanks be to God who always causes us to win. Yeah. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in his name. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Triumph, hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks be to God. us to triumph. Oh, 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 oh. Causes us to triumph. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Come on. Give a clap to the ancient of days. Arugo, jo, 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 jo. Arugo, jo, jo. Come on, let me hear you say. It means he's the ancient of days. Arugo, jo, jo, jo. He doesn't change. He remains the same. Come on, let me hear you say. Arugo, jo, jo, jo. Arugo, jo, jo. Hallelujah. He's the ancient of days. And that's why we had to say that. We had to declare that he's the ancient of days. Hallelujah. Come on. Got the victory. Everything will be all right. All right. We got the victory. Everything will be all right. Because we are the winning side. We got the victory. Everything will be all right. We got the victory. Everything will be alright. We got the victory. Can I see all the victorious people who made it to Texas 33? Raise your hands. Everything will be alright. Cause we are the winning side. We are the winning side. We are the winning side. We are the We have overcome. 
What he says he will do. Hallelujah. Great Jehovah, ruler of everything, our defender, you are the most high king. Great Jehovah. You are, you are, are everything. A defender. A defender. You are, you, you are, are the most high king. Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. You are, you are everything. A defender. A defender. You are, you, you are, are the most high king. Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign. You are the most high king. Great Jehovah, great Jehovah. You are ruler of everything. My defender, my defender. You are the most high king. You are the most high king. Great Jehovah, great Jehovah. Come on, ruler of everything. He rules and he reigns. Our defender. You are the most I can, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Hey. Ruler of everything. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Yeah. You are the most I can, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Yeah. Ruler of everything. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. You are the most I can, Lord, you reign. You are. The most high king. Thank you, God, for reigning over our lives and over the life of our families, over the life of our church. Lord, we give you praise. Continue to thank Him. If we had 10,000 tongues, it would not be enough. So don't stop. Any opportunity you have to thank Him, thank Him. We are not in the morgue, we are not in the hospital, we are here standing. Lift your voice to him and thank him. We will worship you. We lift you high above the heavens because you are God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We lift you up, oh God, above the earth and the heavens. I will worship you. I lift you high above the earth and the heavens. Yes, Lord. I will worship you. I lift you high above the earth and the heavens. You are, Lord. You are God. Worship you. I will worship you. I lift you high. I lift you high above the earth and the heavens. We 
will worship you. We will lift you high. I lift you high. You are God. You are God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are. You are God. You are God. You are God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. One more time, say, you are. the Lord. In our church you are the Lord. In our homes you are the Lord. You never change. Your word is yea and amen. Your word never changes. Your word never fails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
don't stop worshiping. Lift your hands to the Most High God. Don't stop thanking Him. But we lift you high. Lift your voices to Him. If you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Don't stop, don't stop. Lift you. slumber. He is your keeper. He is the shade upon your right hand. He is the one that has not allowed the sun to smite you by day, nor the moon by night. He has preserved you. He has preserved your family, your wife, your children. You are going out and coming in. He is the one that has not allowed your foot to stumble. From the first day of January 2023, today is the last day in December 31st, 2023. It is only by his power. Begin to worship God. Think about his faithfulness. Think about when your back was against the wall. How he delivered you. How he set you free. How he came through for us. Think about the time when the doctor gave you that ugly report that seems that that was it, but he made a way for you. He healed you. He delivered you. He set you free. Think about when there was nothing. It looks as if the table was dry. The children school fee. Your husband, your wife, just thank him, thank him. Your children have been going to school from beginning from January to December. No sickness. We have not had cause to bury anyone. It is by the grace of God. Our women have been going in and out of the labor room and they are coming out with their bundle of joy. Think about his goodness. Worship God. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for his faithfulness. Think about his love for you. Think about all that he has done from beginning to the ending. Even if you have 10,000 tongues, it's still not enough. It cannot suffice for what he has done for you. Father, we bless your name, oh God. Our deliverer, our sustainer, our redeemer. The one who takes us out of the married clay. The one who molds us. The one who is the joy of our salvation, our strength, our shield, our buckler, the strong old, our strong tower, the one that we run into time and time and again, and we are saved, we are delivered because of you. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we worship you. Oh God, we appreciate you. Oh God, thank you for your goodness. You have been with us. You have kept your church. You have kept our papa. You have kept our mama. You have kept all the ministers. You have kept our children. You have kept all the pastors. Oh God, you have not allowed us to be put to shit. When my back was against the wall And it looked as if it was over You made a way And I'm standing here Only because you made a way Oh, you moved
standing here only because Jesus made the way. We still have our salvation. We are still in the race. We have not been knocked out of the race by His grace alone. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The God of the impossibility. The God who makes the way where there is no way. The God that is ever present in time of need. The late commanders is never too late. The one that shows up at the tenth hour. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We've come with a grateful heart. We've come with a humble heart. In adoration, oh God, from the bottom of our hearts, oh Lord Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. We give thanks unto you because you are good. Your mercies endure it forever. Your faithfulness is forever sure. Thank you, my Father. Where would I have been today if not for you, Lord? Where would we have been today if not for you, Lord? Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We cannot thank you enough, oh Lord God. When others are crying, there is a casting down. Because of your grace, we are saying there is a lifting up. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you for not looking at our wicked ways. Thank you for not holding us back. Father, we say thank you. Only because you made a way, Lord. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we've given thanks. Amen. Here are our weekly programs here at the House of Praise. Rise and shine for our early morning prayer, Alone with God, Monday through Friday, 6 to 7 a.m. Join us on Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. for an engaging and thought-provoking Bible study that will deepen your understanding of God's Word. Spread the good news and join us every Saturday at 11 for evangelism that will change lives and inspire hope. Join us every Sunday at 10 a.m. for a powerful worship experience and message of hope that will uplift your spirit. And we have a special language service Sundays from 12.30 p.m. Calling all youth. We have an exciting and inspiring youth church on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. See you there. Fun, interactive, and meaningful children's church for kids of all ages. Sundays at 10.30 a.m. Bring your children and let's grow together. The House of Praise Singles Ministry hosts a meetup every last Sunday of each month. Grow in wisdom and fellowship with us if this sounds like you.
get ready to usher in the new year in a spirit of praise and worship. Join us at the RCCG House of Praise for an unforgettable crossover service into 2024. Kickstart 2024 right at the House of Praise. Join us for Thanksgiving Sunday on January 7th at 10 a.m. Don't miss the joy, the praise and the fellowship as we embark on this journey into 2024 with our hosts, Pastor Andrew and Yemi Adele A.K. Celebrating a new year of blessings. See you there. If you know that God has always shown up to show off when you them shout hallelujah. There is a God in the heavens who does whatsoever pleases him. God will lead you. I announce to you tonight, you are a leader. You will occupy your position. But don't say the Lord, you be the head and not the tail. Is him. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, first says the, say Jesus, say Jesus. How I prove you at your word, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, say oh for grace to trust. Praise this morning.
that same love like me, like me, like me, amazing way. Oh, how sweet the sound. Have you heard of amazing grace? Was blind, but now I see. Was blind, was blind, was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. Yeah. amazing grace it is the grace of God that has been with us it is his grace that has given us seed to sow it is his grace that has enabled us to be used as instruments to propagate the gospel it is his grace that has enabled you to be here today we give him praise and glory shall we shout a thunderous hallelujah to God what can we render unto this God a thousand songs is not enough to praise him. We give him all the praise and glory. Even as we, amen. Even as we packaged our offering to appreciate the God of the universe, to appreciate the King of Kings, to appreciate the Lord of Lords. And this is not just an ordinary offering. It is the last one of a Sunday morning 2023. Can you give God a praise? Amen. Can you give God a hallelujah? We are going to offer God a sacrifice of thanks today, this morning. And we're going to target a memorial offering. There is a family in the book of Acts chapter 10 that the Bible makes us to understand that's the household of Cornelius. That they gave, the Bible said that God visited him and said that your giving, what you have been doing, God is visiting you this morning. God is visiting me this morning as a result of our offering, as a result of our giving. And it's going to be a memorial offering, even unto God, remembering what we have done in his house. And also remembering what he will do in 2024. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in Psalm 96, 8 to 9, it says, give to the Lord the glory he deserves. Bring an offering to him. Come into his courts. Worship him in all its holy splendor and let the earth tremble before him. So with reverence, let's package our offering with understanding. Let's target an offering of memorial. It's a worship offering. A thanksgiving offering, a sacrificial offering, thanking him for the seed he has given, thanking him for our lives, thanking him for our health, thanking him for provision, thanking him for sustenance, and thanking him as a memorial for what he will do in 2024. Amen. All the details are there if we've got the app or your bank transfer, if you need an envelope, just wave your hands and one of our ushers 
will give you one. Praise God. Most importantly, God wants us to present our heart unto him so that our offering will be accepted. Let's give God a wonderful offering. I'm also doing mine. Praise God. The Bible tells us in Psalm 54, uh, Psalm 50 verse 14, the Amplified Version, he said, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows. If you have a vow, you have pledged unto God. If you is your tithe, the 10% and offering, let us come in thanksgiving as a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Praise God. And just as God visited the household of Cornelius, our offering today is a memorial even unto God in Jesus' name. Amen. Just give ourselves 30 seconds. God is good. His mercy is endured forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just wave our device envelope. Whatever we have used to give God a sacrificial thanksgiving today. Remembering his goodness unto us in 2024. How we stepped in when it was not enough. How we stepped in even when we called upon him. And let's say, Father Lord, I offer you myself. I offer you my sacrifice. Just as you remembered the sacrifice and the offerings of the household of Cornelius. And you visited them. Father Lord, we pray that our offering today will be a memorial unto you. Let it be a sweet smelling savour unto you. We're thanking you for what you have done in our lives in 2023. We're thanking you in advance, oh God, with an offering, a memorial offering, for what you will do in 2024. Father, we give you praise and glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you, O oh God, because good measure, pressed down, shaking together, shall you cause us to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the, we soak our offerings with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And as many want to give and are unable to, Father Lord, we stand upon this altar and we agree that Lord will make seed available. You are the one that gives power to get wealth. Father, we ask that you make power available in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know this old song? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of my choir. Help me now. Most. Come on, choir. Come on, come on, come on. Don't sing. Don't sing. Sing. Go. Come on now. Come on now. We are going into we, we crossover. Come on. Say the name of the Lord is. Uh huh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Let me conduct you. Two way. One more time. Say, blessed be, blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, say. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Say, blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Give God the praise. Hallelujah. What a beautiful name he is. What a beautiful name. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to do this together and clap our hands and give God praise. What a beautiful name God is. So come on, son. So we're just going to worship together. Hallelujah. We're the word of the beginning. One week now.
So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. My sin was great, your love was greater. What can separate? What can separate us? What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name. Come on. The name. The name of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful name. 
to it that nothing could limit you in 2023 is someone excited or not excited this morning Jehovah you are so good you are so good Jehovah you are so good about if you can think you can dance if you can think you can thank if you can think you will roll on the ground if you can think you will shout hallelujah, hallelujah. your hallelujah will jump up from the east side of you if you can think you will know that God has been good to you there are people that are better than you they are in the hospital right now there are people that are holier than you. Some are bedridden right now. There are people <laughs> that are more handsome, are more beautiful than you. They are walking around counting stars on the streets, <laughs> speaking history, speaking English on the streets, half naked. If you can think, you can thank God. Look at today. I said, when we say Jehovah is good, we mean Jehovah is good. So give him a dance offering this morning so that the word of God will come and settle on your destiny, on your situation this morning. Let's build and create an atmosphere for what God is about to do. Jehovah, you are so good. Jehovah, Jehovah you are so good. Hey. You are so good. And Jehovah, you are so I'm behind you and say, my goodness, my goodness, you look good. Has anybody told you this morning that you look good? And if you are watching from home, say it to yourself and say, ha ha, Allah, yeah, me, you are too much. Tell yourself, tell yourself. If you are in your bedroom, just rise up from where you are and go to your mirror right now and say, you are too much, you are too much. You may not be in the presence of God physically in church, but right here in your bedroom, you are in the presence of your maker. 
Give God praise, somebody, for what God is about to deposit this morning. You took time to be in service this morning. And I tell you, will not go empty-handed in the name of Jesus. The God of no limit has done it again. When you started January, the devil was whispering to you. And you were wondering how you will be able to survive the whole year. But here you are. Look at your neighbor and say, here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Anybody excited about the word of God? The Bible makes us to know that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It doesn't matter where you turn it, it cuts. Turn it to the right, it will cut. Turn it in front, it will cut. Turn it to the left, it will cut. Swing it to the back, it will cut. The word of God is about to cut you loose from everything that has been tying you down in the name of Jesus. Now I want to say welcome and don't let me say welcome to 2024. It's not 2024 yet. But I already see myself in 2024. Amen. I want you to know that the word of God that will come to you this morning will propel you. Doesn't matter what you have received or what you have not received in 2023. Now I tell you, if God can keep you alive till now, he is your God. And he knows what he's doing. Tell your neighbor he knows what he's doing. Go and sleep. Go and start. Go, 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 go and rest. Tell your neighbor, go and rest. Take your rest in God. Take your peace in God. We are talking about Jesus sitting on the inside of you. The Bible says Christ is the hope of glory. As long as Christ is on the inside of you, you have the hope to enter into a glorious situation. What you see ahead of you is not shame. It is glory. Now I pronounce to someone this morning, you will not know shame in the name of Jesus. The God that kept Jesus in that boat, that's why the storm. And he stood up while others were fidgeting. He was sleeping and snoring. Tell your neighbor it's time to sleep and snore. Rest in God. He's a faithful God. It's my privilege to greet you this morning and say welcome to this service. Amen. Now we are ready for the word of God. Are we ready for the word of God? I want you to pull out your Bibles. Pull out your Bibles, either electronic or physical. Because the word of God is about to come. Amen. How can a man make his way pure before God, if not by the word of God? It is the word that has kept you at night till today. And made that word no limit a reality, even when it didn't look like it. Rise up on your feet this morning. As we welcome the servant of God, because we know the word of God that we need to end this year is on his lips. Put your hands together for my pastor. Put your hands together for my mentor. Pastor Andrew Adelike. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mama. I, I don't know about you. I can't wait to stop the Holy Ghost. I got it. I got it. I got it. But hold on, hold on, hold on for a second. I got it. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. Just hold on. Now, they are thinking that you have been buried. The negative prophets, they prophesy that 2023 will be a bad year. But here you are. You know what? You know what? You know what? Bring out your phone. Bring out your phone. I hope your phone is correct. At home, do the same thing in your room. If you are driving, please don't do this. Bring out your camera, choir, get ready with that song, and then go to your video, live and direct from the house of praise. I am destined for greatness. Calling those things that be not as if they are in existence. Can I hear your amen? amen. All that we are going to do today are highly prophetic. You will see 2024. Now, when we pick that song, you will now record yourself 360. For record purposes, in case they are looking at you, this is my color in 2023. My better 2024 is about to come. Men will see your glory. Come on, I say men will see your grace in the name of Jesus. 
Are we ready? Okay, choir, you now do it for me. Oh, singing before. Look what the Lord has done. Come on. Look what the Lord has done. Come on, say, say. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Oh, the Lord. Come on, Professor. Heal my body. Heal my body. What the Lord has done. Say the what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Come on, Luke say, look what the Lord has done. What did he do? He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me. Just in time. Oh, I'm gonna pray. He's never just the same. The Lord has done. We say, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on, say, I got it. I got it in my feet, I got it in my life, I got it all over me, I got it, 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 say something about the Holy Ghost, something about the Holy Ghost, I can't explain it, I got it in my head, I got it in my, I got it in my mind, I got it in my heart, I got it Give it to him. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Now, with that recording of yours, I want you to send it to your social media outlets and target live and direct from the House of Praise London. Can I hear your amen? Please be seated as you do that in the name of the Lord. Congratulations. It is well with you. So while you are doing that, say after me, say, Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for 2023. I am an overcomer. I overcame all obstacles in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, I overcame. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I give you praise. Because I know my 2024 will be a better year in the name of Jesus. Can I hear your loudest amen? I'm going to share with us this morning being a covenant career. The career of grace. Some have been disappointed in 2023. Some have been sick in 2023. Some had accident, and we're not putting them down. But can we go on to the next level of preservation? Can we go on to the next level of protection? Can God open the heavens and give you divine abundance? Can God protect you and your children and your grandchildren? Is it possible that God can favor a man and reposition him or her in destiny. I will provoke you with the word of God. We will dig for treasures. We will plant trees. We will end up in prayers to concretize that which God is about to do. And the prophet said, 
I can hear the sound of the abundance of rain. In case you have not been told before, God is about to visit you. In case you can't sense it yet, help is about to come your way. Because when God wants to help a man, he will send him his word. Your word will come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's see this scripture. And then we travel quickly. I want you to write. I'm not preaching to impress you. I want to share the word of the Lord for transformation. I don't want to preach so that you can say, yes, that man can preach. Can you leave this auditorium or wherever you are located upon the surface of the earth? Can your heavens be open? A woman saw the glory of Jesus and declared, blessed be the womb that brought you forth. Jesus was not even talking to the woman, was not even looking at the woman. Can men, men smell the fragrance of your grace? At your appearance, can men give thanks unto the Lord? At your remembrance, can somebody somewhere go on their knees? I don't know about you. Before I expire, I want to rejoice over my children. Before I go back to my maker, after the order of my ancestors, I want to look at and say, blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord has been good unto me. There are people in destiny, their lives are falling unto them in pleasant places. There are people, whether we like it or not, though they fall seven times, they will surely rise again. You belong to that club. You belong to that group. There are people, it does not matter what is going on. They can boldly say, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Help me slap your neighbor. You will make it. Come on, go ahead. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see the scripture so that we travel quickly. Second Samuel, chapter 7. Second Samuel, chapter 7. And I read from verse 12 to 16. The word of the Lord. And God sent his word to a man after the same order like us. A man of like passion. A man that was not perfect in his days. A man that was faulted, but favor located him. And God said to David, prophetically, and when your days be fulfilled, your days will be fulfilled. And thou shalt sleep with your fathers. I will set up your seed after you. We shall proceed out of your bowels. And I will establish his kingdom. Look at 13. He shall build an house for my name. I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Blank check. God. Come on, say God. God now says, I will be his father. He shall be my son. If he makes a mistake, if he commits iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. Can we read 15 together, everybody? But my mercy shall not depart away from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before you. The word of the Lord. My mercy shall not depart away. God, locate me. Even before I get into that hero, locate me. That this war will be activated. Look at the war. My mercy, my mercy shall not depart. Though he's guilty, there will be an exemption. Look at the word. Because, you see, when the word comes, you get liberated. When the word comes, ladies and gentlemen, healings will take place. When the word comes, there is no depression. When the word comes, there is no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. Look at the word. Look at that word again. Second Samuel 7, 15. But my message shall not depart away from him. As I took it from the one before you saw that I put away. 16 now says, and your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne 
shall be established forever. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. In case you don't know what is a covenant. Covenant is an agreement. In fact, a very, very powerful agreement between two parties. For example, between Ukraine and America. We will protect you. We will help you. Uh, between husband and wife. Uh, it can be between friends. Now, covenant is always, come on, say always. It's always between the strong and the weak. If you seek war, uh, it's not a covenant. It's a, what do you call it? Mutual, what, what do you call that one? I will, I will prove it to you in a second. It's always between God and man. Ladies and gentlemen, it can be between kings. Oh, it can be, you know, between lovers, can be between nations. It's always for number one, for sustenance. I don't have food. You have food. I have strength. You don't have strength. If you give me food, we will protect your community. It may be for provision. It may be for destiny or for promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, I discover this. Please hear me clearly. If you're a child of God, my question now would be to you, are you a covenant carrier? Are you a covenant carrier? Because when you are a child of God and God is your father, you must be able to communicate with your maker. Of course, you can never communicate with God unless you have a relationship. That's what the Bible says in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, will not die, but will have eternal life. So which means this. Last Sunday of the year, wherever you are hearing me from upon the surface of the earth, you are watching us right now. Do you have a relationship with God? Do you have your names in the book of life? What shall it profit a man? If he will gain the whole world and then lose his soul. When it comes to this agreement I'm talking about, it has to do with blood. It has to do with sacrifice. It has to do with rendering yourself or your part, whatever you have, upon the altar as a burnt offering. That's why I was born a Muslim, but a day came, somebody preached the gospel to me. I gave my heart to Jesus. And then I read in the book of Romans chapter 12, 1 and 2, when the Bible says, I become a living sacrifice. So if I'm a child of God, what is my duty to present my body? As a living sacrifice. It's no longer mine. Please listen to me before you miss this. When you become a living sacrifice, cancer dare not touch you. Because you are God's property. When you become a living sacrifice, ladies and gentlemen, no, 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 no. Things will come that want to disgrace you. But look at that word. My mercy shall not depart from you. When you become a living sacrifice and you are a child of God, though you are weeping, you know it is written in the word. Disgrace may come, disappointment may come, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is where when you get yourself in the world, you have confidence. You have this grace that I know tomorrow will be so when it comes to this covenant we're talking about, oftentimes, God is always the initiator of the covenant. By favor, sovereignly, God will bestow his grace. He will bestow his blessings upon a man and give him conditions. If you do this, I will do this for you, etc., things like that. Because when you look at the word, come on, say the word. God's covenant is always bringing assurance. No, 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 you've not seen it. You say, hey, I am the Lord that he led you. But God, look at my color. Is this the way I will hand in destiny? And God says, no, I give you my word. Whatever you lay your hands upon, 
you will prosper. But it is not looking like it. But God cannot fail. His word endures forever. I prophesy to somebody. Your 2024 will be colorful. With grace and with favor, with understanding, with assurance, knowing fully well, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall seven times, what will happen? I will surely rise again. Let's look at the word. If God's covenant will bring blessings, if God's covenant will bring assurance, if God's covenant will bring freedom and security, what says the prophet Isaiah 41, number 10? Look at the word. Look at the word. And I want you to mark it in your Bible. These are the medicine you need to carry about. And the Bible says, fear not. Tell you, they say, fear not. For I am with you, saith the Lord. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. God says, I will strengthen you. Come on, receive it. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Is this written in your word? This is the word of the Lord. If you get it, please hear me. I am boasting now. If you get this, you are sorted in life and destiny. If you get this covenant, you are okay. You know why? Because God cannot deny himself. Because God cannot lie. If you keep the part of your covenant, please listen to me, that covenant will be irrevocable. Nobody can cancel it. And God said, David, you, a man, you want to honor me? You want to lift me up? And God says, you want to build me a house? I promise you, I will build your throne. You may be 70, you may be 7. If you get this revelation, your destiny will be called off. You may be fatherless or motherless. You may be an orphan. If you get this revelation at this stage of your life, Joseph was a little boy when he saw the glory of the Lord. David was not counted among those that were qualified. God located him. God will locate you. Amen. Look at the word. Look at the word. Because God cannot deny himself. Psalm 89 verse 4. Are you with me? This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 89. Look at verse 34. And he says, I will establish your offspring. Verse 4. Forever. I will build your throne for all generations. In the Bible, we see God coming to men like Adam, like Noah, like Abraham, like Moses, like David. God came to them. But because of what we're doing today, the last Sunday of the year, I want you to position yourself. Oh, somebody says divine repositioning. Yes, I agree with you. God will reposition you. There is a way you can get the attention of the deity. And you begin to do what you are doing. Look at the word. We see the story of a man in certain specifics. Do you know that man can be the one that will initiate the covenant? Yes, God always visits a man. But there are some dangerous people upon the surface of the earth. Somebody says this. If the Holy Ghost will not move me, I will move the Holy Ghost. Are you reading the word? Are you praying? Are you struggling? Are you sick? Are you frustrated? You are not the first person and you're not going to be the last person. It has happened before. It's still happening. And it will still happen again. But those who are prepared will always survive. Those who are fully prepared will always be exempted. Have you ever seen us pray in this church? And you begin to wonder their sins must be many. Because you're a stranger on the planet Earth. You don't have to offend somebody before they attack you. It's not everybody that will go to the labor room that will come out alive. Just read in the newspaper, somebody suing another uh, a, a hospital. Because about 30 years ago, when his wife was delivering baby, the baby was what? And for 30 years, the man labored and labored and labored. Labor for zero. Only to discover now. 
you will not labor in vain. Come on, let me hear your hymn again. So there are occasions, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you've experienced this this year, when frustrations will come, disappointment will come, what do you need to do? In the days of old, a man went through the same thing. A man named Jacob. The Bible says he, he, he robbed his brother because the mother advised him, and then he got the blessing, and the brother made a vow to kill him. And the man ran for his life. He ran. While he was running, he became a japa. He became a fugitive. Though a covenant carrier, he had nothing. Oh, the Bible made us to understand he wanted to sleep. He did not even clothe or anything for a pillow. He used stone, arch. Things were difficult for him. Early men were attacking him. And right there, while he was there, he looked up. Oh, don't let me jump so that we, we get this together. Jacob was in distress. Are you in distress? Congratulations. God is about to visit you. Yeah. Are you disappointed? There are things you need to do. I don't care about your mockers. I don't care who is writing you down. Look at the world. Look at the world. He, he, while, he, while he was running away, though he had nothing, he was going to his uncle, he was filled with fear. When the Bible says, 2 Timothy 1, 7, God has not given unto us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. But this man was in fear. He was afraid. Then he got to a place called Bethel. Then God revealed himself to him at Bethel. And then he saw the ladder from heaven to the earth. Angels going up and down. So in response to God's revelation, underlying this phrase of mine, in response to God's revelation, anytime God is giving you a word, you must mark it. You must build an altar. I still remember the, the testimony of one of us here, a lady in our church. She was selling stuff at the Hill Street Market for one pound. And while he was there, at the same time, he was preaching the gospel. And according to her testimony, she was telling God, I know one day you will establish me in this land. Today, she is a millionaire. That's the right word. Highly blessed. But you see, what people always see is the glory. They don't know the story. But you know you have the opportunity to write your own story. You have the opportunity to write your own history. You have the opportunity to determine what will come upon you in the future. Let's focus on this man called Jacob. Come on, say Jacob. I hope Jacob is not sitting by your side. All right? So in response to God's revelation in Genesis 28, look at the word in verse 20 to 22. I don't intend to be long today. This man entered into a covenant with God. He was minus. He was zeroed. He had nothing. But he got a revelation. So in verse 20, look at the word. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, if God will keep me in this way that I go, if God will give me bread to eat, if God will give me raiment to put on. If God will make me to come again to my father's house. In what? In peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. The weak was going to the stronger. The zero was going to the creator. Please, I want to provoke you. Don't be proud to approach your maker. He created your kidney. I know you have knowledge. I know you are educated. Never forget the one that knew you before you were ever formed in your mother's womb. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Yes, trust in the Lord. Lean not unto your own understanding. These struggles you are going through, God can accelerate you. But when there is pride, I will do it my way first. 
No, I won't pray about it. Let me try. I know I have common sense. That's why they call it common. The sense that you have is common. Can you have the help of the Most High God when you become a mystery? Can you do something that men will begin to wonder who is helping you? This man went to God. So what did he ask the Lord to do? Just put it down. One day we'll preach on this. Number one, which I want you to be part of your prayer for today. He asked God to be with him. Can you ask God to be with you in the new year? And I'm not just ask, asking you to pray the normal prayer now. No. Lord, be with me so that men will know that you are with me. The two are not the same. Can, can you get to your surgeon, your doctor, and the man is perplexed? On this altar, a great man of God came here to share his testimony. He had the cancer of the truth. And he was dying. So they scared him for an operation. He went for the preliminary test. He did everything. On the day that the operation was to be performed, the surgeons were upset with him. Because they put him on the bed, and they said, no, where have you been? He said, no, I've not been anywhere. He said, no, you have been somewhere. You have been operated upon. We can see the mark. Divine surgeon, I forgot to tell you, he was praying, and then he told God, he said, God, you know, I've always lived for you. If you want to kill me, go ahead. Then I won't preach your gospel again. Because the dead cannot preach your word. And heaven recorded him. Overnight, there was a surgical operation. Invincible. The man is still alive. Over 90 something. A fool says in his heart that there is no God. Who is saying that your case is impossible? Report them to the headquarters. I love it when men are challenging me, when men are saying stuff, and they say, no, no, because they don't know the one backing you up. But before you boast you, check your halter. Are you a covenant carrier? I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what they have said. It's okay since you have been zeroed. And so, uh, rather, Esau, Esau made a vow. Oh, God, I'm getting distracted now. And Esau made a vow. He said, bro, if I ever set my eyes on you again, you're a dead meat. And the man was not joking. Jacob ran. He ran and ran and ran. But the fullness of time, the next time they met together, instead of Esau killing him, guess what he did? He kissed him. Is it not in the world thou preparest? A table before me in the presence of my enemy, which means they may be powerful, but they are powerless against my destiny. It means though they've caused me, they said everything, they've done everything, they will not die. They will see my glory. Are you a covenant carrier? What well, simply this man has the law for one or two things that I want to share with you. He has the law to be with him. Come and say, Father, be with me. Number two, he has got to keep him where he was going. Lord, I don't know about this trip. I don't know what 2024 will bring. Please be with me. Look at what he says next. He said, Lord, give me bread to eat. Why are you walking? Is it not for bread? The one that provided manna in the desert. Look at what he said next. He said, Lord, look at me. Give me clothes to wear. Basic stuff we take for granted. Look at the next phrase. He said, Lord, bring me back to my father's house in peace. So he has the law. He has the law. But look at Jacob now. Of course, time will not permit. Very smart guy. Some of us are just praying. And we pray as if God is our dog. Oh, Father, you better do this in the name of Jesus. But I command you, Holy Ghost. Uh -uh. Who is your father? He prayed in response. Look at what he said now. So, he said, God, I have prayed to you. He now promised God that Jehovah will be his God. God, you will be my God. He promised God, I will build you a house of worship at Bethel, at the place of my encounter. I am zero, but God, if you be with me, this is what I will do. 
Of course, he went further, which you don't like to hear this. He said, I will give a tithe of all that you give to me. <laughs> but can I help you here? Please, let me help you here. When I landed in this country, just like you, I couldn't get my professional job. So the first job they introduced me to was early morning. You don't know what an early morning is. It means they have to wake up at 4 a.m. to go and clean somewhere. But they trusted me some. They gave me the key. Just call me anytime you want to clean. The income was less than four pounds an hour in those days. But then I would get home after the, 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 they paid us. And then the first thing we will remove our tithe. Now, to a normal human being, that does not make sense. Look at the money you're earning. It's not even enough. But then my pastor told me, I will never forget. He said, what belongs to God? If you don't give it to God, you will give it to the devil. I'm not. I still remember that. So, we were doing that. I now had this understanding to it. God, if you help me and you move me from four pounds an hour, I promise you. And guess what God will do? Because God is always hearing you. If you're a child of his, say, okay, I'll promote you. I'll promote you. Now, some of us, before you got your visa, you made a vow. But you are pretending you are forgotten. I am reminding you now. Before you got that job, remember the kind of prayer that you prayed. Before you started that business. Oh, when you were sick, when you were hurting, what happened? So the man said, I am zero, but whatever you are going to give to me. So, Father, please give me one million. I promise I will pay my tithe. God, give me 10 million. I promise I will pay my tithe. Give me 5,000. I promise. I will give my time. And now God is now blessing you. Now you say it's too much. I was pastoring in Angel many, many years ago. So we pray for a man publicly. Very faithful in the church. And then we pray that God will enlarge him. And God responded to our prayers. And suddenly God enlarged him. What led to his promotion, he stopped doing. It was our light, a small church. When he pays tight, we'll pay our rent. You know the kind of people like that? When he pays tight, I mean, our praise and worship will go to the roof. May God make you like that. And God said to, 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 to and put on David. Men, men now say, David, you are our light. You are the light of Israel, and God was not offended. Can God make you a light in your family setup? Can God make you a light of London? Can God make you a light of your church? I'm not talking about baby stuff, and you know my heart on this. If I speak about tight, I'm not struggling to ask for your money. No, no, no. I'm talking about the principle. There are people who cannot die this year. Don't want day to go. Because if you go, men will suffer. If you die, men will disturb heavens. Position yourself. So, <clears throat> he promised God to pay his tithe, etc. He did this before God responded. God heard him. So, because of time, what did God do? God, number one, changed his name. May God change your name. Amen. I don't know what they are calling you. You are not Susan. In the house of men, they may be calling you Andrew. But they have the moody name for you. Andrew, the, the one that is frustrated. Susan the Baron. Oh, here yeah, Susan is coming. Oh, mm. Your guitar man is coming again. God help us. They have their own pet names in their house. But God, look at Jacob and say, I will change your name. You will no longer struggle. I will make you a prince. I love this. God changed his status. He became a nation. 
a man that was using stones for pillow, became a nation. And the Bible went on for that to say he became exceedingly great. But let's check it. He was the one that initiated the covenant. There are people that will live for themselves alone. Don't be like that. There are generations that will leave blessings for generation to generation. There are people that will come, they will change the bitter water to become sweet. There are people that will come at their appearance, men will rejoice. I promote you in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, they that do know their God shall be strong. This man, this man, he was poor. He was in fear. He made a choice. Let me look at the second example and then we'll pray. Is that okay? It's not a long one because I know 2023 is about to expire, but God, can my 2024 be colorful? Can men look at me and say, no, it's not the same man? No, 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 no. I was blind. Now, I can't. oh God, oh God, oh God. And Moses appeared. And Hero looked at Moses and said, no, no, is that not you, Moses? We grew up in the palace. He was looking at Moses like Moses of old. Not to know he was looking at a new Moses. God changed his status. God empowered him. So with a rod in his hand, Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, let my people go. Moses was mocked. Who is mocking you? And Moses said, if you don't allow the people of God to go, this time tomorrow, the land will be filled with frogs. Are you a biologist? Even if frogs are couple, is it the right word? Copulating and meeting together. How long will it take them to fill the land? But within 24 hours, the unseen hands brought something supernatural. And the man said again, no, no, this is a new Moses. You are regarding me according to the order of the past. It's a darkness we fill the land. They look at the man's size. Even if you spread your hands, where will you cover? I love the word when the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Are you a covenant carrier? Your end will not be in disgrace. In 2 Samuel 1, 11, because of time, okay, another, another woman came. She was okay. She was wealthy. She was married. She was comfortable. But this, there was a but. What's that but? She was barren. Her computer was just giving birth, children upon children. She was being disgraced. And I love it when I was reading the scripture too. Even the husband was a you know, oh, there are people who are covenant carriers. That man made the vow to go to the house of the Lord on a yearly basis. Don't make your home your a yearly basis. Look at the word. So, though she was barren, she went to the house of the Lord to pray in Second Samuel one eleven, and then she promised the Lord. He said, "Lord, you know I'm barren." If you give me a male child, I will come back to give thanks to you. And I will give that boy to you. So, we dedicate our children. And we say, Lord, this child is yours. After the pastor has prayed, what do we do? Mm. We carry our child again. Samuel said that was not like that. The eighth day, and the Bible can be graphic at times. Samuel was brought to the house of the Lord as a deposit and left there. Commitment. I saw a revelation there. The woman asked for one. God gave her six. The woman asked for a male child. God gave her a prophet. The woman asked for a male child. God gave her a deliverer. The human has for a male child. God says, no, the child you will give birth to would be a kingmaker. I look at the world, ladies and gentlemen. I need to close. This journey of yours will not be an ordinary one. 
The time has come for us, for they that do know their God shall be strong and do what? Exploit. The time has come for you to know who are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? What is your speed? Five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, God, David said, is this the way you deal with men? That you take a zero and make him a hero? Is this the way you deal with men? That you take the one that is barren to be a mother of many? Is this the way you deal with men? That the one that is in the pit will become a ruler? And God sent his word. And God sent his word. And the word of the Lord came. And the word of the Lord came. May the word of the Lord come unto you. I ask for transformation. I ask for expansion. I ask for divine repositioning. I ask for the awareness of the Trinity in cancer. I ask for the awareness of the presence of the Lord. I ask, as the Lord God of heaven liveth, that which is disturbing your body will disturb your body no more. Please, as I close, don't make irrational vows. If you're going to be a covenant carrier, don't deceive God. I've seen it over and over, both scripturally and contemporarily. Men are zero. They will ask help from the Lord, and when they are promoted, they will turn against their maker. Don't be like that. That's why genuinely, if God is not at the center of your life, promotion can become destruction. If God is not at the center of your life, that's why you see a man making a vow to his wife, covenant relationship, and now money is coming. And then the wife of your youth you put aside. That's why you see a man when there is not, he's going to business relationship with his friend or her friends, and now things are working. You're not scheming to assassinate your business partner. What shall it profit a man? Even if you kill that man and you live for another 50 years, where will you take the money to? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatsoever pleases him. Write this down, then I'll leave it. Jephthah made a rash vow. You see that in Judges 11. Okay. Uh, book of Acts 23, verse 12. 40 men made a vow by covenant to kill Apostle Paul. <laughs> they were fasting. And they made a vow. And I, and I always say this, you are not making a vow. You better be careful. Do you know who are making vows against you? 40, not 3, not 10. 40 men. They said, we will not eat. We will not drink until we finish him. And they grabbed him. Oh, God. Highly merciful. They, I don't know. And they said they beat hell out of him, but not her. They beat him to stupor. They beat him. Oh, they beat that man. When you read the scriptures at times, if not that the Lord had been on his side, he would have been buried. You must be a covenant carrier. I don't have the time, but when you read about Apostle Paul, at one point, he made a vow to shave his head. Lord, for your sake, I will preach the gospel at Oxford Circles. For your sake, I will go to Buckingham Palace and preach the gospel. I'm, Lord, you know, you know I'm dying. Doctors told me three months to leave. Okay, thank you, Lord, for these three months. But I promise you. And when, men, when they begin to see the glory in your life, they begin to wonder that you are using something. Of course. Let them go and use what they have to. You must be a covenant carrier. I pray for you this day. You will not be isolated. Amen. I pray for you this day for understanding, for wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you and I declare this day, be thou my God. 
my maker, my redeemer, I call upon you. Help me. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for what you are doing right now. And thank you for that you are about to do in the name of Jesus. I want us to rise and give us about three minutes to pray powerfully. Amen. Calling those things that be not as if they are in existence. Come on, say, Father. Oh, come on, let me hear. Say, Father. By the blood of the Lamb, I want you to be with me. Come on, go ahead and pray. Father, be with me. Keep me wherever I go. Order my steps. Lord, I call upon you. It is personal. I don't know who you are. Keep me, oh God. Give me bread to eat. Jacob prayed. Jacob was not disappointed. Give me clothes to wear. Yes, Lord, bring me to fulfillment. Jehovah, bring me to fulfillment. Keep me where I go means let my purpose be fulfilled. The essence of my existence, oh God, give me bread means sustain me. Prosper me. Bring me to my father's house means, oh God, let me be fulfilled. Let me be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? Amen. As we close our eyes, if you die today, where will you spend eternity? I want you to examine your heart. Yes. Is Jesus truly your Lord? Are you genuinely born again? Father. Or will you make a choice today like Jacob did? He turned to God. The word came to him. He turned and he made the vow. He dedicated himself. I will give my all. Will you do the same today? I give you an incredible opportunity. The Bible says, behold, God is knocking at the door of your heart. If you respond, God will respond to you. If you respond, God will come into your heart. Very simple, just say, Father, forgive me my sins. And write my names down in the book of life. Right now, I say yes to you. Help me, oh God, as I give you my heart. Dwell in me. Move in me. Move through me. Let my life bring glory to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. While we close our eyes, maybe you have prayed that prayer sincerely. And you mean it with the whole of your heart. I want you to raise your right hand above your head. Just wherever you are in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Thank you for that hand. If you're raising it, raise it properly. I want to agree with you. I want to agree with you that the hand of the Lord will be upon you. There is always a day. There is always a beginning. There is always a day when that decision will be made. And I pray for you. The decision that you are making today will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the people said, come on, shout hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering in the name of the Lord. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Come on, more, more, more. For his faithfulness, for his grace. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Please stretch forth your hands in the name of the Lord. Time will not permit us. Say, Father, anoint me with the Holy Ghost and with power in the name of Jesus. I want you to lay those two hands upon your head, wherever you may be located, and command your body to respond to the word of the Lord. Because it is written, the word of God is medicina to your bones as I lay my hands upon my head my cell respond to the word of the Lord you are healed my organs my systems 
in the name of the Lord. My high boss, my eardrums, my bones. Come on, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Heal me, oh God. Heal me, oh God. Heal me, oh God. Thank you, Father. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. As you lay your two hands upon your head, you now command your head to receive the crown of glory. Let the glory of the Lord rest upon this head of mine. 2024, I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord. This head of mine will carry grace. This head of mine will carry glory. This head of mine will not be cursed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Now look at your two hands now. Now prophesy to those hands and say, hands, you will carry good news. Money will meet money in my hands in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and prophesy. Prophesy. It is written, whatever I lay my hands upon, I will prosper. Therefore, I declare and I decree I will surely prosper in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can I hear your loudest amen? Come on, let's go ahead and give the Lord a clap of friend. Let's just give the Lord. 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 Please be seated in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for 2023. You will end this year gloriously and powerfully in the name of Jesus. You know, before I go back to my seat, I want to ask you to do something for the Lord. Every year, I share with us last Sunday, we sponsor other charities. And I want to thank God for those of you who have been doing it. Some time ago, we adopted over 58 children in our church. Thank God for your faithfulness. And this year, we will still do more. Because there are some orphans somewhere, they are doing what they are doing. Again, people always say stuff. You, you heard the story yesterday as some rioters came around and they were doing the stuff they wanted to do. But somehow Jehovah exempted our, our building. We have no cause to be regretting. Order my steps. Somebody says it's a coincidence. The police came. X, Y, Z happened. What if they were too late? Job made a vow. It's in my note. I didn't get there. Some people will make a vow with their money, make a vow with their talent. Job made a vow with his eyes not to sin against God. Ah! At another point, he made a vow with his ears. He said, I will not hear the cry of the poor and ignore. So when the man was in trouble, supernaturally, things were working for him. He recovered. He recovered and recovered. I pray for you too. You too, you will recover in the mighty name of Jesus. And then if it's your tithe, what a good time to do it. Let's do it together and then I will tell us what will happen next. Let's do that in the name of the Lord. Always remember your tithe belongs to God. Your offering is to bring peace. Your offering is your sacrifice. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. Every man builded a house. He that builded all things 
is the most high God. And Lord, as we hear the cry of the poor today, please, Jehovah, when we cry, attend to our cry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We like unto thee. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand. The ushers will serve you. And then we do that in the name of the Lord. Ushers, please. People are waiting for you. In the name of Jesus. of the spirit can you begin to see your future in 2024 I want you to begin to form that picture can you have the mentality of abundance can you see yourself in your palace and God told Moses he said have a look have a look he called another man called Abraham he said, as far as you can see. Can you get that picture in your heart? As I ask the Father, that which is in your heart will reach your hands. Calling those things that be not as if they were in existence. Thank you, Father. Give us a song. Or just pass the basket. And then to me in the name of the Lord. You are here this day and you have that dream in your heart and you are asking for the favor of the Lord for manifestation. I want you to stand wherever you are. Just stand. I want to pray for you. The hand of the Lord will be magnified. And I ask right now for the power of the Holy Ghost to overshadow you. 
and that which is impossible will become possible there will be a manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray come on let's give the Lord a good hand May God bless you. Please come and take the announcement tonight by the special grace of the Almighty God. Um, the doors will be open at 7 o'clock. Amen. And then we're going to have a blast before the Lord. Of course, you know this story. We have more visitors. I want you to come on time so that you will take your home place. We're going to need more workers. We're going to need more people to assist us. Uh, it's always a night that God is always giving us incredible opportunity to win souls for him. Bring your friends. Bring your associates. Bring somebody you have been praying for before. Amen. For them to come. And as you are bringing them in your cars, equally pray for them and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I pray I will see you gloriously in 2024. I pray I will not visit you in the hospital. I pray we will not have emergency prayer meeting for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you and keep you. Praise the Lord. Please let's put our hands together for the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. What a word. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to wrap up the service very soon because like our Father and the Lord said, the expectation is that we come here powerfully on time. The doors will be open by 7 p.m. Amen. But before we do that, um, if you're coming to the house of praise for the very first time, just wave wherever you are. Today is your first time in the house of praise Yes. Wow. God bless you. Come on. These are extra special guests today. Let's appreciate them. Appreciate them. Would you like to come towards me, sir? Thank you. Please come towards me. Anyone watch me with, for the very first time? Don't worry. Don't be shy. I'll tell you what. Just come towards me. Why don't you clap for them? Make them feel welcome. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. How are you? God bless you, man. Don't stop clapping. 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 I'm going to start with you. There are lots more coming. Keep clapping. Lots more. Appreciate God. Wow. God bless you. Just please stand with me. Stand with me here. And I'll tell you why. Stand with me. God bless you. God bless you. Please don't get tired. That's the least we can do. God, you know they can, they can be in another church. God let them hear. Many of them, through your efforts, through your giving, through your evangelism. Thank you. Somebody's excited. Keep, yes, celebrate God. Uh, if you're still coming, keep coming. See? God bless you, sir. Amen. Now, this is House of Praise. It's a family church, a church that's taking people to heaven. So you are in the right place, in the right place. On behalf of our senior pastor, Papa and Mama, you are welcome. Now, we have a light refreshment and a gift for you. So just give us one or two minutes if you go with my lovely two sisters over there and we'll give you more information. Please, let's celebrate Jesus in their lives. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Wow, they made today extra special. Imagine if those seats were empty, but because of your prayers, they are here today. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, very quickly, um, we're going to be sharing the grace now, but I also want to talk about the Thanksgiving service. Now, because a lot of us, we are already planning for 2024, isn't it? Believing God. So, 7th of January. That's going to be the mega Thanksgiving, the first in 2024. How many of us are going to have at least seven testimonies? At least. That's the least. God can do more. 
He can do more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So please key into the word. Be expectant and see what God will do in the name of Jesus. Shall we please rise? Shall we please rise? Shall we please rise? Now, one of the first things that we, we need at the end of the service, we need volunteers to rearrange. We're going to put the church because we're expecting tonight by God's grace, by faith. In fact, after hearing that word, before I was going to say 2,500, but I think we're expecting more. How many of us believe God can do more than that? So to... Amen. Glory be to God. Now before we do that, can we just stretch forth our hands towards our online family? Just stretch forth our hands and say, Father, bless them. Cause them to have an unusual testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Do something unique for them. Even in the few hours that is remaining in 2023, God, turn that situation around. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Let's put our hands together as we close our